What's going on, everybody? You know, <laughs> this is getting crazy. This is like getting out of line. So, Gino Jenkins receives an email from T.D. James or his family or his team, allegedly, and basically saying that they didn't like the way that he addressed T.D. James in front of, I guess, basically the public, if they were saying, and that they feel like he could have did it more privately versus, you no know, guess email him or call or whatever the case. And so in the email, allegedly, TD or his team stated that, you know, they had reached out to certain people and they that, that they had asked that Gino platform be removed or whatever the case. And it's like, why is he going through above and beyond for things that are not the truth, allegedly, for things that he's saying didn't happen? Now I watched Gino's um video, and I'm from what he was saying, it was basically saying, you know, it's either one for out or one for in. You know, that's what you know the preachers or the pastors, you know, they do usually say that either you in all the way or you out. You know, there's no no in between allegedly, or you know that is something that they speak on. And so Gino basically was saying, well, there is pictures allegedly at you sitting at the table at you there, you no know, pictures. At him being at Diddy's party and people twerking and doing allegedly and sliding down poles allegedly. And he said that T.D. Jakes did not tell those girls to get dressed or tell those girls that they should carry in themselves a certain way. Now, in some of T.D.'s past preaching and stuff, especially when people were going after his daughter or whatever the case, he was saying, you know, that women need to this and women need to that and and so now he's feeling like, you know, Gino was saying, well, why you didn't have the same smoke for those women at the party where you was at, at Puffy's, allegedly? And so was Gino wrong the way he, he um displayed how he feel about the situation with, with um, <laughs> they said Mr. Brock here. How they feel about the situation with Jake? Is he wrong the way he addressed it, how he addressed it, and that he actually took it to the pulpit as like an example as to say this is you no, know, we preach this, but then there are some of us living that allegedly. Was Gino wrong? Like and do do um T D have the right to actually take down his platform? Allegedly they they're striking some platforms. You know what I mean? I just got rid of mine from Jump Fly. But yeah, they not playing. <laughs> they definitely striking striking platforms, allegedly. Um, yeah, so we have reached out to the people and we have asked that your platform or whatever the case be removed. And like, should he have that power to take away people's freedom of speech? Like, isn't that a form of freedom of speech, allegedly, that this other pastor just spoke out based on his beliefs and, and, and his his preaching and, you know, what's in the word of God and the Bible? And so how could you, like, record, do they have a secret oath, allegedly, in ministry that, <laughs> it, no, I'm laughing, but it's not funny because I, I've been in a position where, you no, know, I actually, you know, spoke to a pastor about, you know, something that they said or preached on that I, you know, disagreed with. And, yeah, they do get offended. They don't allegedly like to be um, put in a position to feel like they are speaking wrongly or, or you know, they just don't basically chastise. A lot of them don't like that. And so I'm feeling the same energy with this situation as to why in the world will he think that, you know, he has the authority to request that someone be removed from their platform due for due to alleged freedom of speech. Like that is crazy to me. Y'all let me know what you, you guys think. Should T D Jakes be allowed to request that Gino's platform be removed due to freedom of speech? Did he say anything wrong or, or did he speak on things that are out here in the public? I don't understand Mm -mm -mm. these people are not gods and and you know i just feel like the community and, and the people that's worshiping these people as if these people are gods themselves it's like 
gotta hold themselves accountable for putting these people up on these pedestals to the point where they feel like they're gonna just take away freedom of speech. Y'all hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Hope everybody had a blessed holiday. Later.